Mr. Drunk Bunny's videos. He'll spit and wow every time. I can't help it. It's like crack. Uh, I need to lay off the McDonald's. Uh, if you can masturbate, uh, this is the towel you want. Oh. All I can say is, I'm a fire in my laser! <laughs> Hey YouTube, what's happening? Mr. Drunk Bunny here, and I am extremely excited for today's tutorial. If you are illiterate, which means you can't read, uh, and you just clicked on the title because, ooh, shiny, uh, this tutorial will show you how to get a legitimate full copy of Mac OS X Leopard version 10.5.5 on Windows XP, Vista, or 7 for $0.00. And as you can understand, that's pretty exciting. So, um, there's a bunch of links I gave you, and let's just go to the first one. If you don't already have a Get U Torrent, a very tiny bit torrent client, just go to the link. Uh, as I said, it'll be in the description, and then just download it. You know, install, same basic crap. Then you go to this uh, um, uh, torrent link. And then just click download this torrent and then open with uTorrent if you have Firefox. And then same thing, you download the torrent. Oh, it's like here. Wow, there's so many freaking ebony and like point ads in the side. So nasty. Well, you, you can't see them, they're blocked out for, you know, I, I edited it for young minds. But wow, just be warned, there is ebony. Makes you feel like a king. <laughs> um, next, you're either going to want to get 7-Zip or WinRAR if you don't have them, too. So what you do then it well, I sounded gay there. <laughs> so what you do is um, you download the torrents, and when they're done, open up your torrent. Uh, completed. And then open first open up VMware Workstation 6.5.3 and then just right click it and press open containing folder in case you don't know how to use torrents. Torrents are the best thing ever. They're like folders that you can download. And if you ever want to get a torrent, make sure there's more cedars than leechers and use the pirate bay. That's the only good torrent site. But anyways, so this is a readme VMware setup and keygen.exe. Uh, you shouldn't, I didn't need the key gen, which is weird, I thought I would, but normally you'd need the key gen, but just run the setup, install it, if you need the key gen, I do is you open it up, just double click it, really annoying music plays, and then you just, and they just generate, and this is a legitimate key gen, these digital insanity people are freaking amazing. Uh, they made one for Sony Vegas too, which was very nice. So, anyways, you install VMware Workstation, and today we're going to be using uh, VMware Player. So, uh, then you go to All Programs, or if it's a shortcut on the desktop, but All Programs, VMware, and then Player, not Workstation or Network. Just today we're using Player. I'm just going to close this out. Okay, so then, uh, also, once you've got VMware Player open, it, it looks so simple and, like, old, but it's amazing. This program is freaking awesome. And you can get all kinds of virtual machines. Uh, right now, I'm, you can also get, uh, I know Tiger, you can get on this too, which I'm downloading, but, um, but yeah, so here it is, Mac OS X Leopard. Right click, open containing folder. That's a good movie, I think. It's an indie film, but way off topic um mac os 10 leopard 7 zip as i said i have winrar but you can open it with uh 7 zip too i know i know okay 
and then you just go over the folder and extract it to your documents, okay? And I called it, you know, Mac OS and Leopard. See, it's right about... Uh, it's in my documents. Here it is. See, Mac OS and Leopard. But, um, anyways, um... I'm gonna go back to my down and see how much time this has left. Six hours? That's redonkulous. Anyways, so you had to hear me say redonkulous. Then you go to open and go to the Mac OS 10 Leopard folder. And there's a bunch of other files, but just open. The only one that'll show up actually is Mac OS 10 Leopard.vmx. So just double click that, and here's where the magic happens. I wish we could like to. You know, whatever. I'm sorry I sound hyped up. But it just this is pretty freaking awesome that you can have Mac stably running inside of a Windows. Okay, for you the first time you boot up, it'll show like the Apple symbol and the little circle loading. Not the beach ball thing I got, but little circle. And um but next time you open it up, it'll say restoring state. So that's cool. Oh yeah, also, um, if this works for you, please subscribe. I mean, really, I'm not like super desperate, you know, but <laughs> even though I sound like it, but still, you know, I mean, it'd be kind of nice to at least do a favor for the guy who got you like Mac Leopard. I mean, I don't want to sound like a douche, but really, I mean, I got you Mac Leopard free on your PC. It'd be like nice to like subscribe or something. I mean, just throwing that out there. I don't even care about rating. I think rating's dumb. I just I just want a subs subscription, you know. I mean, whatever. But <laughs> it's starting to sound like a tool. But uh, actually not a tool. But just like a douche. <laughs> but um, you're a tool. Ooh, 31 degrees. Glad I'm... It's a beautiful day inside on my computer. In the... No, actually, my lights are on. Wow, this is a first. What should I talk... Oh, wow, it got big. Like, my... Anyways. <laughs> that was a dick joke. I'm sorry. Uh, come on, move. Oh yeah, uh, it doesn't seem to work with wireless, and it's not working on my speakers, but I know it has internet, so it could possibly only work with an ethernet cord, I haven't tried yet. But maybe it'll work on your internet, I don't know, just for some reason the internet doesn't work, but, uh, I mean, really, you can go on Safari on your computer, so, whatever. Safari's not even that great, I recommend Firefox. Because you can get so many add-ons, like downloads faster, security, browsing, uh, IP address hiders, which you shouldn't need, because so you're downloading all that. Never mind. I forgot about Young Minds. Uh, okay. I don't care. Never show this in again, because I don't care. Okay, yeah. I know, right? Leopard, but first, it work for you. As I said, Camtasia Studio, uh... Makes everything lag, but, um, but, um, yeah, so if you want that, I don't know how to get hold of Snow Leopard, but, you know, I mean, Leopard and Snow Leopard, they're pretty much the same, so anyways, uh, you know, uh, subscribe, please, if this works for you, as I said, the links are in the sidebar.